we have the derivative in implicit form. Now, a function in which the dependent variable is expressed solely in terms of independent variable x, nam namely y equals f of x, is said to be an explicit function. Explicit function. For example, we have here y equals 2x plus 1. This is an explicit function. Okay, this is an example of an explicit function. In our previous example of finding the derivative, we use explicit function. Now, how about this one? This is not in terms of y equals, but this is xy plus 2x plus equals 2. Now, for this function, this is an example of implicit function. Okay. So, you can now distinguish what is explicit function and what is implicit function. So, our discussion today is all about the derivative of implicit function. Now, we go directly to an example of finding the derivative in implicit form. If you have noticed this one, x plus 4xy minus 4 equals 5y. This is in implicit form. So, find dy over dx of this equation, x plus 4xy minus 4 equals 5y. Okay? So, the basic process in solving implicit form is, of course, we have to follow the different rules of derivative. Take note also that u to the n, derivative of u to the n, we make use of t, that is equivalent to n u n minus 1 du. Also, the derivative of u v equals u dv plus v du. So remember this one, or the derivative of u over v equals v du minus u dv over v squared. So these are the basis when we take the derivative of an algebraic function. So for this case, this is in implicit form. Our algebraic function is in implicit form. And when we can apply these rules of finding the derivative in implicit form. Okay, so hey, we continue find the derivative of course when we find the derivative of that one we have to make use of d so the derivative of x that is dx plus 4 now this is xy so this is product rule so i will write here x dy plus y dx that is product rule of differentiation minus the derivative of any constant, 4 is constant, so 0. So minus 0, which is equivalent to the derivative of 5y equals 5 times the derivative of y. Now take note, when you use this process, you have to make use of d. You are just writing d okay, to each variable. So take note, every term must have d let's say for example this one dx this one is dy this one is dx this one is dy okay so uh distribute we have here dx plus 4 times x dy that is 4 x dy plus 4 times y that is 4 y dx this one is zero so no problem with that equals 5 dy now this time we have to uh, combined all dy and all dx so on this side we will make use of dx on this side and then on this side will be dy so that you will have here dx dx plus 4y dx we have this dx and then on the other side that is dy 5 dy and then this one transfer to the other side that becomes negative 4x dy. The sign is changing from positive 
to negative, if you transpose this one to the other side, we have negative 4x dy. This time we will factor dx. So if we factor dx, you have here the remaining number which is 1. 1 plus 4y dx which is equivalent to this time dy we will factor dy so what remains here is 5 minus 4x dy okay now since we're going to find dy over dx we have to uh, transfer dx to the other side for example we have here a b equals c d in basic algebra we have a b equals c d now we find we want to find b over d i mean d over b so all you have to do is to cross multiply you have your a over b equals c over d this is supposed to have one one as your denominator okay so to cross multiply this c will be transferred here and then this b will be transferred here so that that is d over b d over b and then a over c try to look at this one c it will become as your denominator to a so that is a over c this is how we uh, combine dx dy okay so going back to this one by cross multiplication following this format we have 1 plus 4y this one divided by 5 minus 4x we have this one which is equivalent to dy over dx so this will be our final answer for the first derivative of this implicit function so this is how we apply the derivative d now what if we will make use of d over dx this one d over dx so we will make use of d over dx okay so for this case we have going back to this one if we make use of d over dx so we will multiply this one to the whole equation which is x plus 4 xy minus 4 equals 5y okay so d over dx times x that is dx over dx this time we distribute d over dx plus 4 again this is product so x times the derivative of y with respect to x d over dx so we multiply x times dy plus y times d over dx of x this time x which is equivalent to derivative of 4 so 0 and then 5 5 y so 5 d of y over dx so we make use of d over dx only so this is d over dx of your y so that dx over dx that is equivalent to 1 and then 4 times x that is 4x dy over dx and then this one plus 4 times y that is 4y dx over dx that is equivalent to 1 which is equivalent to 5 dy over dx now this is 1 plus 4y we combine this one 1 plus 4y which is equivalent to 5 dy over dx this one and then transpose this one to the other side that becomes negative 4x dy over dx so that you will have 1 plus 4y which is equivalent to you have to factor dy over dx so that is 5 minus 4x 5 minus 4x dy over dx so transposing this one to the other side that becomes 1 plus 4y over 5 minus 4x equals dy over dx which is also similar to this one
they are equal. So, in the first uh, process of solving the derivative of implicit form, we only apply d. Okay? So, we have here derivative of x dx plus 4 times x dy plus y dx. So, we only make use of d for this part. On this part, we make use of d over dx directly. So, you have two ways to solve derivatives in implicit form. You can make use of d or you can make use of d over dx. So, we just distribute this one to your equation. So, we have the same final answer. We have this one, another example. So, example 2. Our equation 2 minus 3x to the 4th y squared plus 2x equals 5y minus 3x squared. So again, this is in implicit form. And then we will take the derivative. Now in my case, I usually use the first process which is uh, using, we use d instead of d over dx. So take note, you can make use of d or d over d. X. So you have an option that depends on yourself, which is more preferable than what you want to use. Okay, so in my case, I will be using this D. Okay, I will use this one. Okay, the derivative of 2 equals 0. So we have D minus derivative of this one. Again, we have here X and Y. So this is derivative of product rule. So we have your negative 3 times x to the 4th times the derivative of y squared. The derivative of y squared equals 2y dy. Okay? Derivative of y squared equals 2y dy plus y squared. This is product rule. Times the derivative of x to the 4th, that is 4x cubed dx. 4x cubed dx okay or i will write as this part i will rewrite this one okay step by step okay so x to the fourth times the derivative of y squared plus y squared times the derivative of x to the fourth okay i am using d and then plus 2 times the derivative of your x equals 5 times the derivative of y minus 3 times the derivative of x squared. Okay, so this time we have here negative 3 and then x to the 4th derivative of y squared that is 2y dy plus y squared derivative of x to the 4th that is 4x cubed dx plus 2 dx equals 5 dy minus 3 derivative of x squared that is 2x dx. Notice, uh, okay, notice that every term must have dy or dx for this part, you have your dy for this part, you have your dx, dx, dy, and then dx. Okay, this time I will distribute 3. Negative 3 times 2, that becomes negative 6, x to the 4th, y, dy. This is how I distribute this one. And then plus, negative times positive, that becomes negative. 3 times 4, that is 12, x cubed y squared dx plus 2 dx which is equivalent to uh, 5 dy minus 3 times 2 that is 6x dx by the way we're going to find dy over dx okay this time, we have to group dx and dy. So, we will have this one, dx on this side. So, I will write first 2dx. 
2 dx and then this one minus 12 x cube y squared dx and then this one transfer to this side that becomes positive plus 6 x dx which is equivalent to 5 dy and then this one will be transferred to the other side that becomes positive plus 6 x to the fourth y dy so we will just transposing other terms and then group those terms with dx and those terms with dy so this one is dy we transfer this one to the other side so that becomes positive together with 5 dy so they are now in groups with dy and all dx we have on this side this time factor dx so what remains here is 2 minus 12 x cubed y squared plus 6x dx which is equivalent to 5 factor dy on the other side that becomes 5 plus 6x to the fourth uh, fourth y and then we have here dy and then our final answer is by multiplication by cross multiplication we have on this side that is dy over dx on the other side we have 2 2 minus 12 x cubed y squared plus 6x and then this one will be your denominator if you transfer this one to the other side that becomes 5 plus 6x to the fourth y so this will be our final answer for the derivative of this implicit function. We have example number 3. Find dy over dx in 4x minus 2x squared y to the 4th equals 8y squared when x equals 2 and y equals 1. So this time we have the given value of x as 2 and y equals 1 and then we're going to find the derivative of y with respect to x to this particular implicit function okay so i will rewrite first our equation we have 4x minus 2x squared y to the fourth equals 8y squared and then take the derivative of this one we have here 4 derivative of x that is dx minus 2 times again this is product x squared times the derivative of y to the fourth that is 4y cubed dy this is the derivative of y to the fourth plus y to the fourth times the derivative of x squared that is 2x dx this is the derivative of x squared that is 2x dx which is equivalent to the derivative of 8y squared that is 2 times 8 16y dy next of course distribute this one we have here 4 dx minus 2 times 4 that is 8x squared y cubed dy distribute 2 times 4 that is negative 8 and then negative 2 times 2 that is negative 4 x y to the fourth dx for this part you just multiply negative 2 times 2 that is negative 4 and then copy x y to the fourth dx which is equivalent to 16 y dy okay so this time you have to group dy all dy and on the other side and all dx on the other side so we have here 4 dx minus 4 x y to the fourth dy x which is equivalent to 16 y dy we have this one and then this one transfer to the other side that becomes positive positive 8 x squared y cube dy so we have here dy and then by cross multiplication this is dy by cross multiplication, I sorry for this one. Sorry for this one. 
you will factor dx and dy and then cross multiplication we have 4 minus 4 xy to the 4 dx which is equivalent to which is equivalent to 16 y plus 8x squared y cubed dy and then by cross multiplication this is 4 minus 4xy to the 4th divided by this one that is 16y plus 8x squared y cubed which is equivalent to dy over dx now given the value of x and y by the way you can factor they are divisible by 2 if we want to reduce this one we can reduce this one okay this is 4 this is 4 16 then an 8 so they are divisible by 4 okay or we can rewrite this one as 4 times 1 minus xy to the fourth factor 4 so you have your 4 so what remains here is 1 and then you have xy to the fourth divided by 4 also for this one so 4 y plus 2 x squared okay so 4 y plus 2 x squared so I am adjusting my camera okay you have here your factor 4 so 16 divisible by 4 you have your 4 times 4 y that is 16 y 4 times 2 that is 8 x squared y cubed which is equivalent to dy over dx so we will cancel 4 so what remains here is dy over dx that is equivalent to we have to cancel 4 so 1 minus x y to the fourth divided by 4 y plus 2 x squared y cube so we have reduced our final answer no but this time we have the value of x as 2 and y equals 1 so we will substitute the value of x and y to this equation so that dy over dx equals instead of writing x we will substitute it as 2 and y as 1 so we have 1 minus instead of x we use 2 and then y we use 1 to the fourth divided by 4 times 1 plus 2 times 2 squared 1 cube so this one okay so we have 1 1 this is 1 to the 4 that is 1 times 2 that is 2 and then that is 4 times 1 that is 4 plus 1 cube that is 1 2 times 2 4 times 2 that is 8 which is equivalent to 1 minus 2 that is negative 1 divided by 4 times 8 that is 12 so this will be our final answer which is dy over dx that is equivalent to negative 1 over 12 as our final answer